I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. We have with us today Rabbi Daniel Rosenfeld from Kew Garden Hills. And the reason we have Rabbi Daniel Rosenfeld with us is for a very, very interesting topic, something that I am massively behind. And that is improvement in the dating world, as because he's an Orthodox rabbi. So in his case, specifically in the Orthodox dating world. How are you, Rabbi? Um, well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. My pleasure, my pleasure. So just to, to have a recap before you jump in and take the lead here, um, you came across me because I do a lot of uh, interviews for singles, and um, I have a very different approach. Instead of offering everything like a dating site, they get to choose what they want to share and they can talk about whatever topic they want. We're not talking about them. And what turned me on to your idea is that I like when people take new approaches and your approach is that, well, you explain it, go ahead. <laughs> well, no, it's great. I appreciate that. Essentially our approach, and, and again, this is based off of you know what I saw, what I have seen as a rabbi in the community, both in the Young Israel QR and Hills, and just the greater Jewish community as well. And that is that the singles need help, right? They come to me, they come to communal leaders, they come to their parents, their families. And we always want to do something, right? We want to try to help. I mean, who wouldn't want to have their niece, cousin, aunt, uncle uh, find their loved one? And, you know, we don't know exactly what to do or where to go. So we kind of thought of this, this idea of auntie where it's not for the singles, which I know sounds interesting as it's a dating app. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. No, it's not for the singles because it's for the user or for other people to help singles find their, to share it. Right. And, and that's where the idea came from, to have this opportunity where we can do something. So we set up singles, we find our way and we can do one thing, hopefully, uh, connect with the single. And we feel like we're in the driver's seat so we can help our cousin, our friend, our aunt, our niece, or our sister, or whatever it may be. Right. And that was why I love the idea so much. I, I am more in touch with people that are older. Just to clarify, you're dealing more with, with younger people, people in their 20s or, or so, for the most part, as I understand. And um, as we were talking about on the phone, the community has so much. They have their own volunteer ambulance service. They have, if you get broken out of your car, a flat tire. But when it comes to the singles, they, they feel a little left out. And um, an advocate, you know, as the, our high holy days are coming, what better time than to talk about having an advocate? And I think that's what you're describing. When, when somebody's still young enough and you know, there's no reason why other people shouldn't be keeping a lookout for them. You know, right. as we discussed the the concept of um, the Sabbath table being such a an underused opportunity to match people up, you know? Absolutely. And that's what we feel Auntie is, because it's our opportunity to to think of other people and to, it, uh, every other app is for yourself, right? I mean, look at my phone. I have hundreds of apps, <laughs> you know, where it's your wife. <laughs> exactly. Not um, dating most, most of them are uh, exactly, I, but it's, it's for me, it's for my own selfish needs. I, I want to get my free coffee at Starbucks or, uh, or Seven Eleven, or, or check out the, the, the baseball score for me. So this is an app that's, that can't possibly be for me, not just because I'm a married man, but also because it's for someone else. My profile is nothing to do with me. Um, you know, so I think that's the important. It's not just that. It's more than just, it is being an advocate because it's it's selflessly advocating on someone's behalf, which I think is a perfect tie into the holidays, right? Where we're, we're worrying about the greater kahal, the greater community. That, that's actually very interesting. That's a great way of putting it that it's you have an app on your phone that's for somebody else to do a selfless action and as you were explaining to me this is actually a, a community-based um project meaning you're working with a cleric who's you know a muslim leader and uh um uh what's it called a a christian uh priest 
And obviously, you know, we're, we're keeping it within our religion. So once it takes off, everybody will have their own path and their own site, but they seem to see this as urgent as you do. Correct. Everyone seems to be on the same board, uh, on the same table. And I think that ultimately with, with auntie, we have, you know, the, the three people working on it right now, we have a Christian, we have a Muslim, and we have myself, an Orthodox rabbi. And of course, the great irony would be that the one thing that we don't share, <laughs> um, you know, with those three traditions are Shaduchim, right? But then we're coming together to work work together uh, for Shaduchim. Meaning. I'm sorry? Shaduchim meaning? Sorry, so matching. So ma- make matchmaking. We don't share. <laughs> um, you know, we can share a lot of things with our friends in the Muslim community and the Christian community. Okay. But the one thing we try not to, to share are our dating abilities. And yet this app really is, is th- are three people uh, with totally different backgrounds, um, but coming together to find uh, a common value. Um, and, and I may add that this is a pilot program just for the Jewish community for the summer. So it happens to be, like you said, that hopefully it'll take off and be something that is of interest to each of those communities. And then we can kind of navigate our own paths forward. But if for right now, we have everyone working from three very different backgrounds on making matches in the Jewish community. Right. I think it's amazing. If I haven't said that two or three times already, I just I love the idea, as I was telling you when we were talking, this concept of being proactive. You know, we I'm I'm a proud Jew and I love our religion. We have a rich heritage. It's a it's a beautiful religion. The one area, as I mentioned to you, where I feel we could improve is that we are somewhat reactive, you know, and this is proactive, which makes it. Awesome. (laughs) That's what I love about it so much. Absolutely. And I think that's what's unique about this app. It puts you in the driver's seat. So if you have a sister, if you have a cousin and you want to set them up and for whatever reason, it hasn't happened yet. And however old they might be in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever it may be and upwards, you know, it, it allows you, it empowers you as the user and puts you in the driver's seat to finally to do something, to try and do at the very least try. You never Absolutely. know. Look, I have a YouTube channel, so it's natural that ever since I've started this channel, I always have an eye towards, huh, would this make a good video? Would that make a good video? You know, the other day uh, you can look, I, I was walking through the park with my family and we came across a guy who, who had a dog with three legs. Great video. It was just very impromptu. But the point is that when something's in your mind, it's it's going to be something you're working towards. And I think that, you know, it's like back in the day, if you fell into the water, you'd want to save your wallet. Nowadays, if you fall in the water, forget the wallet. You want to save your phone. <laughs> so by putting this onto people's phones and this idea, like I said, that once you have a passion for something and then, you know, you have one success and then all of a sudden you'll have another and then you'll have aunties that are helping the neighbor's kid because they see one second, you know what, I have the power. And and there's also this element that we were talking about of being a wingman, which sounds like not such an orthodox religious <laughs> thing. It sounds cool, but not a wingman like you go into a bar with another guy but a wingman that like, who's a better wingman than your Heimish aunt, you know, all cute and sweet by a chas and a, oh, do I have a girl for you? Do I have a guy for you? And and now you're bringing it to the 21st century where, pop, you know, you can, there's not much to do. You got the app right in front of you. So it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Some, I'm very some of our uh, advertising was a uh, fiddler on the app, you know, based off what you said, exactly. Where it's it's your chance to be the yenta to be the matchmaker that you know that chance you always wanted or ne- yeah. never knew you wanted. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, I'm I'm really glad. I think we should keep the video short just for the simple um, fact that I want people to watch the whole thing, you know, sure. because I think it's a very very simple message, and of course the the link is in the description, and it's. Uh, so what's the uh, the website? It's not a website, right? Or it's, uh, no, it's an app or no, a website? So, yeah, so app. that'll get you to download the app on your iPhone. We are working as hard as we can to get it onto Android, but we started with the iPhone. 
Um, and we are we're hopeful that that will be ready in a few months, God willing, on Android. But for right now, iPhone users can click that link and download on their phone and, and get started. And the first, uh, the next hundred users, we're offering a raffle, a three hundred dollar Amazon gift card for those Wonderful. who download the app and finish the profile for a single in the next week. It's exciting as well. Wonderful. Who's funding this, by the way? So we have investors, um, and we have we have uh, investors who are funding. We're in the very beginning stages and beta stage, I guess you'd say, and getting started. And um, you know they believe in the in the idea of auntie, not necessarily on a Jewish uh, stage, perhaps, but uh, but they love the idea of piloting it on the Orthodox and Jewish community for the summer. And this okay. is kind of our chance to see what works, what doesn't work. You yeah, can bring never up the really... moral value of the of the whole country. I mean, we we Correct. need people to to get married again, make making <laughs> America married again, or something like that. Get America married. I like that. Yeah. So it's so it's a free app. No, nobody has. It's, any it's a free app. We're offering it one hundred percent for free at this time. Um, even hopefully past the trial stage, we'll continue to offer it for free. Okay. And uh, it's easy to download. It's it's a fun setup because you get to you're talking about your aunt or your niece or your, you know, who doesn't right. like doing that. And then there's an opportunity for you to describe a little bit about yourself, because remember, if you're going to set up your younger sister, so then you're going to, with a nice guy from, you know, California. So now you're going to be speaking and communicating with an aunt of a single from someone in LA, perhaps. So it's kind of an opportunity, sort of like a LinkedIn profile where you can Explain who you are, if you'd like, and put a picture of yourself as the Shad Khan, as the, as the matchmaker. Very cool. So people like using that as well. Yeah. And it's, you know, my older kids. Um, so my son is a couple of years older than my daughter. And I always thought to myself in the back of my head, like, look at the, how many girls this girl knows. And she has an older brother. Look how many guys he knows. They're obviously within the same level of religious um, ballpark. So we're better of a place to, to meet the merchandise, so to speak. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the description is below. Nobody has any excuses. Just go into the description, <laughs> click it, download it and start having fun and do great things while you're at it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And thank you for having me.